For more than a decade, Louisiana Farm to Table has found its Mexican soulmate at Mestizo. In this edition of Feasting on Agriculture, A.J. Sabine takes us just off the interstate in Baton Rouge, where Mestizo has refined Mexican cuisine, all with a Louisiana flair. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there, folks. I'm AJ Sabine, and welcome to another delicious, scrumptious, succulent edition of Feasting on Agriculture. This month, we take you south of the border via area code 225 at Baton Rouge's one and only Louisiana mixed Mexican restaurant, Mestizos. Joining us now is uh, owner and chef Jim Urialis Correct. at Mestizos. Chef, tell us about, well, first of all, thank you for having us. Yes. Tell us about your concept and why is Farm to Table so important to you? Well, Mestizo is, uh, is a showcase of Louisiana and Mexican cuisine. So basically it's trying to show people how beautiful, natural, clean, healthy Mexican cuisine really is but I'm doing it with a Louisiana flair using local ingredients. Um, I think it's very important for farm to table. Not only people need to know what they're eating local, but they also need where their food's coming from. And I think that can be understated in this day and age with, with the way people are changing their lifestyles. Um, eating clean and eating fresh makes you feel a lot better as well. So my whole thing is that just food should be fun and healthy and clean, but still satisfying. Great, well let's get started. We're gonna hop in the kitchen and let's get it on. What do we got cooking today? Okay, so today we're gonna do some of the bowls that are making a real impact on our menu right now. So we're gonna start off with some uh, Louisiana shrimp, and then I'm gonna do a veggie quinoa, and then we're gonna start building these three different bowls so you can kind of see what we're doing here. I'm excited, Jim, let's get started. Yes, all right. So we got a little shrimp going right now, and now I'm gonna start my quinoa over here. I'm gonna do just a little bit of Creole seasoning. I'll do a little bit more smoked paprika in it as well. Chef Jim, I'm not that uh, bright when it comes to quinoa. Yeah. Oh, what the double H-E hockey sticks is it? <laughs> so quinoa is actually a seed of a grain. It's uh, from Peru. Uh, interesting story is that's what they used as their protein source. Uh, vegetarians found it about 30 years ago in California. Uh, a lot of people eat it as a protein source. Um, it's really nice. It's really great for people who are pre-diabetic because uh, quinoa, what it does, it doesn't, your body doesn't send any insulin to break it down. So it's a beautiful way to eat, uh, either if you want to eat clean or vegetarian. Uh, quinoa is a great substitute. You can even bake with it. I'm trying to keep it a bit, like you would cook almost at home. Mm -hmm. So like I said, with the chipotle salsa, you're getting a lot of flavor. I'm not putting a lot of sodium on the shrimp. I'm just gonna let them cook and get that flavor from the, uh, the chili anchos. So the first bowl I'm gonna start with is, this is more of a healthier option where you've got some brown rice. And we do a little scoop of the black beans. And I'm gonna take some of the spinach right here. And then I'm gonna do a little tomatilla salsa. And then I'm gonna come back with our veggie quinoa. This one also can come with a little spinach. And then here's the fun one. We're gonna do a cauliflower mash. So this is roasted cauliflower that we cooked down. Also going to do a little black beans with it. All right. And then this also comes with the tomatilla salsa. And on the quinoa, we're actually gonna do a chimichurri sauce. Oh, nice. Yes. Now we're gonna do our protein. So let's see, you pick. Which one do you think we should put the shrimp on? Well, hmm. hmm. All right, well, I like cauliflower and shrimp go well together. I think as well. Actually, on my brunch menu, that's what we do. We use uh, this as our shrimp and grits version, where it's a different presentation, but we use the cauliflower mash, and this is the Louisiana shrimp cooked, and then we build a whole different plate very similar to this, but our version of shrimp and grits. See, Chef, I didn't even know that. I just kind of instinctively <laughs> knew where you were going culinary-wise. Absolutely. Kind of 
Now we're gonna do uh, one chicken and one steak on these and we're gonna finish these bowls up. While Chef Jim finishes up these three wonderful bowls, we'll be right back with a little bit of a surprise in the cocktail menu. Stick around, we'll be right back. Thank y'all so much for sticking around. As promised, Ashley Duncan joins us now, the world famous mixologist here at Mestizos. <laughs> what do you have for, for us here today? I hear it's got tequila in it, so I'm already interested. Go ahead. <laughs> Everything has tequila here. Yay! <laughs> uh, we're doing the tequila mockingjay, which is what we won the um, tacos and tequila hit for just yes. recently. We're gonna start first with um, three rounds of cucumber diced up and then one round of jalapeno. The hotter it is outside, the hotter the jalapenos get. Really? So we don't want to use too much jalapeno because then you won't be able to drink it. And so that's why we put the cucumber in there to cool it down. Right on. Okay, we're gonna do a half ounce of a homemade hibiscus syrup, one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, one ounce of Cointreau. Do I get to pour the tequila? If you'd like, sure. And an ounce and a half of Avian syrup. Which one's the ounce and a half? This whole top. This whole top. Sure. I, I don't want to screw this up. Oh, way up there. There you go. Way up there. All right. <laughs> oh, look, I spilled there you some. Go. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, put it now in. you're oh, going to make it. See, there you go. That's oh, why you pour sorry. a little bit more. That's okay. Oh, sorry. There you go. Oh, thank you. With fresh ice. I'm going to straight. Man, that's pretty. Well, everyone likes a cucumber in a drink. Just really? it makes it a really refreshing drink. Folks, I have cocktail in hand with my favorite tequila and hibiscus. Chef Jim is here joining us, our wonderful host. Thank you very much for having us here. Kind of give us a, an overview of what we're looking at on the table. Well, you know you've got the three bowls here, so let's yeah. start with the beef. So this one we have the veggie quinoa uh, with black beans, little sauteed spinach, skirt steak, pique de gallo, sliced avocado, cotilla cheese. This one is beautiful. It's the uh, roasted cauliflower mash. Again, we do the same premise with the sauteed spinach, but we do a tomatilla salsa with that one with the grilled shrimp with the chipotle salsa. And then this one is the, uh, the brown rice and black beans with the grilled chicken. So what's nice about it is we also have a roasted Brussels sprout and broccoli mash. And folks at home, if you want information about uh, Fullness Farms and other uh, Louisiana producers, including beef producers here in our state, you can always go to our website at twilighttv.org. But Chef Jim, before I get into here, let folks know how they can reach you, what your hours are, and what they can find here in your menu. Okay, so Mestizo Restaurant is conveniently located uh, Acadian and I-10. Uh, we're right off the interstate. We've been here almost 19 years. Uh, actually, this location, 11, but 19 years in business. Our website is www.mestizorestaurant.com. Uh, we're open seven days a week, 11 a.m. every day till 9.30 during the week, 10.30 on the weekends, 9 on Sunday. And as you know, we do a beautiful brunch every oh. Sunday, 11 to 3. Talk uh, about. With a special menu, special cocktails. We just got, we're about to reinvent the whole thing right now in about, about two months, so. Y'all gotta come see Ashley, and you gotta have this skirt steak. Chef, let me shake your hand. This absolutely. is absolutely fabulous, cool. brother. Glad Great to have job. you. Thank you. If you guys want more information about Farms and Table, like I said, come check out Mestizos, or log on to our website at twilighttv.org. That's all from Mestizos. Thank y'all so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner.